What is up guys? I want to try a little experiment that I've been wanting to try for a long time except I never really had a car with keyless access at my disposal and here I've got this 2015 Chevy Cruze with remote start and Chevy's passive entry system. So I've already tried this on my own. I've um, I've tried remote starting it and then leaving the key fob outside of the car and um, trying to drive it but it, it locks up the transmission and doesn't let you do anything unless the key is in the car and your foot is on the brake. But let's try something else. Let's go in the car. Let's go in the car. Let's start it up. So I'll go ahead and start it up. Car is on. Key fob is in the car. And let's uh, just go ahead and throw that key out of there. Let's put it a little bit further away, actually. Let's put it um, back by this hydrant. So, um, it's not telling me anything, is it? Okay, there we go. No remote detected. Let's see if it does anything about it. So, no remote detected. But it still lets me drive the car. So, I'm driving. Uh, let's see how far I can get. Uh, I'm a little worried because I don't want to get too far away. drive over here there's no key fob in the car it's not really a good thing okay so we know the car runs without the key fob um, so let's go ahead and turn back around because um, what I believe what I believe is going to happen is if I turn it off I won't be able to start it again unless I have the, uh, the key fob in the car and I really don't want to walk back over there so let's drive back and try this let's try this out and see what happens so going back to our parking spot um, it doesn't really show any warning or anything for no key fob detected it's just it's just driving so let's go back into the same spot we were. Um, okay. Just even it out. Okay. Um, we are back in our spot. So it's not giving me any warning. The key fob is not in the car. Let's go back and get the key fob. It's not telling me anything. So let's go ahead and toss it back out of here and let's turn it off. No remote detected, press brake to restart. Are you kidding me? So you can turn the car on and off without the key fob in the car. So there's no key fob in the car. And it tells me that. It says right here. Are you wait a minute. No 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 no. That that can't be. The key fob is out of the car. Let's turn it off. No remote detected, press break to restart. Okay. So let's just let it sit. No remote detected. It's giving me that warning. Now let's try and restart it. Okay, just restarted, no problem. That's pretty disconcerting. So, um, let's turn it off. Wait, what the hell? I just just restart itself. That's pretty glitchy. So let's turn it off. It's off. Let's put that out in case. So it's not telling me anything. I'm opening the door. 
It's just giving me the mileage. Um, lock and unlock the. Let's get this key fob a little bit further away. As far as locking and unlocking, I can't do anything about that. Let's get back in the car. Okay, now I can't do anything. No remote detected. Use transmitter pocket to. St Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, the alarm is not on. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it just locked me out. Uh, it just locked me in the car without the key fob in the car. And then I had to crawl out the window to get the key fob because the alarm was on and it would have started the panic alarm if I opened the door. So let's try that one more time. So let's start the car with the key fob in the car. And then the key fob exits the car. Let's put it somewhere I'll remember actually. Key fob exits the car. And you're in the car. Um, no warning. No remote detected. Doesn't stop you from driving. And then if I turn it off, I turn it off. And then I can press brake to start it. It lets me restart it within a certain amount of time. Let's try again. Let's turn it off. No remote detected. Press brake. So I'm not going to open the door or anything. Because last time when I opened the door and then closed the door, it didn't let me restart it. And then it just locked the car on its own. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to wait here. So the key is not in the car. No remote detected. Press brake to restart. Just wait a little bit longer. I'm going to press the brake. Okay, that is a huge flaw on Chevy's part. So technically someone can just, someone can just go start your car up and just leave. I'm not sure, I mean, it's telling me key fob not detected, but, but I mean, I don't know if I want to move the key farther. Let's, let's move the key farther. Okay, I don't know why it does that weird thing. I'll turn it off and then it glitches for a second and then it turns right back on instantaneously. So I'll open the door, close the door, it doesn't let me, no remote detected. That is not a good thing. So let's, look forward to just, okay and then it locks the car. That is not a good thing on Chevy's part at all. Should not do that. So I'm starting the car. I'm gonna put the key fob back here. To stop the car. Okay, it's telling me normal detected. Car can drive. I'm gonna stop the car. However, if I don't open the door, it just gives me this message and I have the ability to restart the car. That is a flaw. Chevy's gotta fix that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a rental car, it's not my car. So it's not my problem, really. My car does not even have keyless access. Um, so, whatever. But um, that's a problem for these Chevy keyless ignition systems. And I'm not sure how it is on other cars. I really don't know. I'd like to, I'd be interested in trying it with a couple of other brand names. But um, if you guys found this video informative, be sure to that like button, put some comments on what you guys think of this in the description, and I'll see you guys next video.